Eight and a half billion. That's the amount of plastic straws that we throw away every year, more than the entire population of the Earth. Campaigners from different walks of life are saying that there are many reasons to ditch our plastic habit. Straws and other plastics are having a real impact on wildlife. I don't think that a plastic straw in most cases is that essential to your day-to-day -day living, so I don't understand why we should impact on the environment to that extent. I think we've relied on plastic so long because we thought it was an easy thing. If we try to get, like, not use straws as a school, we might save about 7,200 straws a year. For years, we have relied on plastic, yet been ignoring its impact on our environment. Plastic straws are one of the main contributors to the enormous problem, harming wildlife in our rivers and oceans. Straws and other plastics are having a real impact on wildlife. It's a simple switch, you know, one of the pub chains I use has switched to paper straws, a couple of them have actually. The things we do every day do have an impact, not just locally but also globally. So just think about your decisions each day, you know, think and look for measures you can take that don't impact on your life too heavily but can make a real difference. A recent study has suggested that urban rivers are actually playing more of a role than we perhaps thought of washing microplastics out to sea. So it is a responsibility on us all to either reduce our use of plastics ourselves or hold companies to account to try and encourage them to either use different materials or make it easier to recycle and reuse materials so they don't end up in our watercourses and ultimately in our oceans. Plastic straws have been making headlines in national papers and within the government. Nottingham City Council want to work with Downing Street to reduce waste. It's obviously something that no one even thought about for years. Plastic was invented and we've got to the end of plastic. The less plastic, the better. I would support any business that would change to paper. And local businesses in Nottingham are getting involved in the movement too. Pepper Rocks is a bar in central Nottingham. So basically we decided to stop putting straws in all of our drinks. Usually, as their cocktails are served with a straw, we obviously saw what was going on, especially with the David Attenborough documentary and obviously all the stuff in the news about the overuse of straws and the wastage. Uh, so we decided to stop doing it. People can still request straws or have them in their drinks, especially if they need them, but we're trying to encourage people to use less and reuse the ones they have. I don't think that a plastic straw in most cases is that essential to your day-to-day -day living, so I don't understand why we should impact on the environment to that extent for something that is kind of just a bit of a luxury, really. So we got in some metal straws to sell behind the bar. 50p of each of them goes to charity, just like the Nottingham local wildlife charity. Uh, they're basically something you can use, you can wash them in the dishwasher, you can rinse them yourself, take them with you on your nights out and then obviously cut down on the amount of straws you're using. I think it's just quite nice to be able to see that you're doing a little bit to help and if everyone did the same then it'd be easy to solve the problem I'm sure. Due to their size, plastic straws cannot be recycled. So all the recyclables from the county come to this facility and the plastics will go down our containers line. Before this process here, the smaller items of plastic, such as bottle tops and plastic straws, will be sorted by our fine screen. So that material drops through the fine screen and goes to our um, residue pile, as we call it. That, that material then will go away for energy recovery, so it'll be turned back into electricity. According to officials, we need to change our attitudes, and the first step is teaching this within schools. Uh, of course, I mean, the younger generation, um, what we're trying to do here is, is create a sustainable environment where we are saving natural resources for the future and the children are the future so they need to understand that there's only finite resources in the world and by recycling you're, you're extending those resources and it gives them an opportunity going forward to um, help their children. Also children are very good at pestering their parents into doing the right things so it's key that we get to the school children. Strange objects were floating around Duffy and looked like... And one school is doing just that. Duffy's Lucky Escape is a book about a turtle who swallows a plastic bag. It's encouraging the children at Sturtonley Steeple Primary School to learn about the impact of plastic. Once I got them, I realised that it would be a way into schools if we could promote this within the schools and, and it would get a lot more children involved in it. So I, uh, I decided to try and get some funding for it and I managed to, up until count, we've got 60 schools that have been able to give these books to. Here at the Sternley Steeple School, they've really taken it into the hearts and, and embraced it and they're really running with it. It's inspiring the pupils to reduce the amount of straws they use. If we try to get, 
like not use straws as a school, we might save about 7,200 straws a year just in our one school. This world is here for a long, long time and we need to be doing something now to make sure that as we pass this on to future generations that we haven't had our head buried in the sand, that we've actually woke up and realised the damage that we're doing uh, and it's these children now who are the next generation. So what will the future hold? Nottingham City Council are promising that our city will become more sustainable. Nottingham is the energy city of uh, England and we, sh we should be able to be the recycling city of England as well. <laughs>